Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. standards okay so the topic for discussion for today it is called as quality standards wherein we will be discussing the different standards that are used in the IT and why we are using them what is the purpose and what are they okay let's try to understand about it now this is a bit of boring i said just because you know this is a theoretical session okay and the materials that i'm going to show you are much more detail uh, so that you know even after the session you can go through them and you know you can get more information i have prepared the detailed materials over here so I will be highlighting the ones that are important to you and I will try to you know make it um, a bit interesting okay and let me tell you this is going to be a bit of theoretical session okay fine okay so first thing is what is the meaning of the standard and what is this quality let's try to understand that okay first of all the quality yes can anybody define the quality can you define what is quality yes anybody you purchase so many products you purchase so many services right the currently that you are taking this is a training service correct so you are having certain expectations over here the quality related you know expectations so what is that expectation that you are having okay right that is going to satisfy the need usability portability maintainability accurate satisfactory durability efficiency maintainability okay worth for the price I can yeah we can call the uh, true value for the money okay and then okay meet both the function and the non-functional requirements all right okay so do you have any expectations from this training the course that you are taking from yes what are they yes get a job very good okay apart from getting a job yeah that is uh, basically yeah the goal or the focus okay finished by time yes learn the QA thoroughly improve the knowledge okay know what you are doing all right quality training right okay so here see any service that you take or any you know product that you purchase you have certain quality expectations as a customer right now similarly here whenever we are developing a software for our client he has certain expectations related to the quality what could be uh, the quality related expectations from the client he wants that it should have certain characteristics 
see it has to work that is you know the basic need i cannot you know actually relate it to the quality yes it has to work okay otherwise you know it is totally dumped but other than what it is supposed to work okay we need some more things over there for example okay it should be usable i mean the user friendly right and then it should be a uh, portable that is we can install it on any of the system that we like or the large variety of the systems and then it should have the low maintenance cost we call it as maintainability right and then what else yes it should be stable it should not break down very frequently it should be reliable means it should give the correct output yes what else so these are yes it should be fast of course means i can call that it should be efficient right so these are certain expectations that a client will be having when we are developing the software from him for him and in order to achieve all these we got to do the testing so testing is not just to you know like find the defects but testing is also for the improvement of the quality it is not just the functional requirements that we got to satisfy we should also satisfy the non functional requirements of the client and that is a major purpose of this testing okay now now what exactly we mean by the quality standards okay see if i have the functionals uh, i mean the functionalities i can actually define it means i can measure it accurately okay so this is like you know i am supposed to get some 10 functionalities in my application or the software i have got all the 10 of them or i have got 9 of them i have got 8 of them we can define it accurately but how do you say you know how much user friendly it is can i say it is 10 user friendly 5 user friendly 6 user friendly can i say like that or even though if i am rating on what basis am i going to rate it we say it is portable okay how do we define this portability how do we define this maintainability correct these are the some you know like they are the characteristics which can be felt and you know which cannot be set as a mark over there right but using the standards we are trying to by uh, you know following the industry standards we are trying to achieve all these characteristics of the software okay and what are the standards basically and how are we going to use them standards are nothing but these are the different techniques these are the different methodologies okay or let's say these are the different tools processes or activities anything that can happen in the project or can be used in the project okay all these have to be the same across same and not just the same okay they have to be same and they have to be the best across the industry okay the entire testing uh, sorry the entire software industry or the it industry they have to be the same and they have to be the best and when i say across the industry it is not you know limited to your project it is not limited to your country it is not you know limited to your company it is across the industry means whichever country you take whichever project you are working okay whichever uh, project you might be working in all of the companies across the world you should follow the standards okay and there is no mandatory like you know hard and fast rule okay this has to be done like this they provide you lot of liberty but at the same time the minimum levels have to be met okay you cannot drop below that right they are going to set the minimum standards and above that you will be given option to modify there will be the liberty that you can you know do the improvisation on that right so all those things are still possible and now why are we you know standardizing everything what is the purpose of standardization now let's assume if there was no standardization every project is following its own technique to do the qa i mean testing every company is following its own technique to follow the i mean to do the testing then tell me would this training be successful for you 
can you apply for any job if all the companies are following you know their own standards if uh, you know every project is following its own methodologies then whatever we are teaching here would not be acceptable by any company correct it might be applicable for a single project or for a single company but not across the industry but now since we are following the standards and also the companies are following the standards after taking this training no matter in which company you apply in which project you apply which country you apply you are going to follow the same techniques methodologies tools processes and activities there will be some variations but the basic things will be the same the standards across the industry okay so are you able to you know understand the importance of the standard and what is the meaning of it yes okay now from your perspective you have agreed that okay this is going to be useful for you if there are standards yes it is an advantage for you as a tester but who is implementing these standards these are to be implemented by the company in which you are going to work correct right in the it company in which you are going to work are supposed to implement these standards and what is the purpose that they have to implement see i will tell you any organization you take i mean the profit organizations the companies that are going to you know conduct the i mean they are manufacturing the products they are developing the software what is the purpose of they doing all this yes what is the purpose why is that a person starts a business right shukla yes of course you know they want to make the profit okay whatever they want to you know invest i mean they want some returns on it it is just for the businesses are done for the profit correct so now if they are implementing any of the standard over here in case if they are not getting any kind of profit from this one there is no purpose for the companies to implement these standards is it clear everybody no madhuri <laughs> see satisfying the customers tell me why the people are going to satisfy the customers why should any business satisfy the customer what is the primary reason for that why should they get the goodwill of the customers ultimately it is to get the profit correct so that their organization you know makes uh, the name in the long run they get more and more customers okay they are able to make more clients and then ultimately they are able to build the organization but the primary motto is what motive is what profit so here you take any it company they want to make the profit right and that is the reason they are hiring you and that is the reason okay why all these standards they are supposed to implement and if these standards are not going to give them any profit then they are not going to use these standards do you agree everybody okay if these standards are not going to give any profit to the it company they are not going to implement this why will they you know unnecessary slash their profit like that no okay so not just you know like from the tester perspective means not only for you these standards are also going to make the profit for the it companies okay and that is the reason they will be implemented so why are the standards you know implemented it is for standards are for you know like um, having the shared communication and understanding that the testing has to be completed how is you know like i said testing is complete then i and you should be on the same page my meaning of saying the testing is completed should mean the same thing to you okay everybody should be on the same page now if i i am asked what is testing i should give the same definition if you are asked what is testing you should also give the same definition if i am asked to prepare the test case i should prepare it in the same way if you are supposed to prepare it you got to prepare the test case in the same format let's say i am going to use a tool called as quality center the way i use and you use should be the same okay not that we both are in the same team so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website 
h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.